Hello, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Um, really interesting at the split um, of the mystical shaman. I split it at the lower world and the sun. And as soon as I got into your energy, I felt so excited. And I was like, yes, let's dive right into the dark. Let's get into the dark. Um, you know what's really interesting is that this uh, this card is really talking to me about an inner altar, the altar within. You know, in spirituality, there's a lot of, um, you know, talks about a physical altar where you, you know, um, have an altar for your ancestors or gods, goddesses, deities, things of that, things of that nature. Um, but this is actually an altar within, an altar within. I actually kind of want to take it because it's really interesting because i'm seeing a beautiful stream of water watering this altar within giving it attention giving it love um which is which in essence you know i'm saying it it but it's you it's your altar it's your um it's your emotional nature is the way it's coming across um and it's something that you're giving more attention to you're giving more attention to your inner inner altar to the altar within so let's see what's going on here um i feel like you're really changing up the space too because now i'm kind of seeing someone take this piece putting it over there taking this piece bringing it down here kind of making some adjustments and changes to your inner inner altar which is very symbolic of removing energies from your life letting go of people um even cleaning up your physical space making room um i'm also seeing a lot of like cobwebs like here at the top it feels very um, kind of dusty, cobwebby, um, which is very symbolic of like a place unvisited. That's interesting. So this is coming across me as this altar within that you haven't visited in quite some time that you haven't given attention to, or maybe even been really aware of um, the space and what it looks like. I'm also getting a meditation technique that you can utilize to connect to your inner self or to this inner altar is actually visualize what your inner altar looks like. Draw a picture. What does your inner altar look like? Is it filled with crystals? Do you have a very crystal, crystalline or crystalless, um, you know, altar? Um, is it is it dark like this? Is it very earthy looking? Um, is it filled with fairies and butterflies, or is it a little bit more dark? Like they're coming across in their messages to me. Like I'm also feeling in my own intuition it's this meditative technique to visualize what your inner altar looks like and um i feel like this is something to help you connect to your deepest of self and to give that aspect of yourself a little more attention a little more love um sorry i didn't even get to my introduction happy birthday <laughs> To all of you Virgo, um, Virgos, to all of you Scorpios, happy birthday to all of you beautiful Scorpios. Um, I love you guys so very much. So I'm going to, obviously we already started on your spiritual growth message, but I will flow into your romantic love life. Um, so I will timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. So let me um, get another card from here. Let, see the council. Number 11, and you have here Pashamama. See, it's interesting because this is like the earth goddess, right? Um, this is also, I'm feeling this energy of like something coming to life or something being um, awakened, something being awakened. This is an inner altar that is awakening or you're visiting this inner altar. You're visiting an inner aspect of yourself. This is you, kind of your spirit, your energy, giving a visitation to this aspect of yourself that is laying dormant in this altar within. It's, all, it's almost like I'm seeing this space as if you are kind of... This is giving me like one or two things. 
it's giving me this energy of like putting something to bed or putting something to rest and you're kind of prepping the space for this aspect of yourself to rest in okay this is almost like it's interesting because this is um you're really coming across to me as you're going through a shedding process releasing something about yourself that you are no longer needed letting go of your old self letting go of your past self right those are all things that we go through shedding um and renewal processes right and so i feel like you have have a specific way of doing this it's almost this definitely feels like a ritual where you are um kind of setting the scene setting the bed setting this inner altar to place your old self in or to place the old energies in and to kind of let it go let it be let it rest let it let it rest and at the same time as you are um witnessing this energy be put to rest there's also this other energy here that i'm noticing that is awakening within you that is awakening um and giving rise to a new energy so there's something else on this on this end that i want to get <sighs> the moon and the coyote okay interesting energies to come out i'm getting this energy on the other side of Pasha Mama, okay, here, okay, so this is the energy that you're putting to rest, and this is the energy right here that is kind of coming to life. This is the energy that's coming to life, which is really interesting because you have here the moon, right, things that are hidden, the coyote, things that are really tricky things that are hard to solve is oh that's interesting that's coming through something that's hard to solve something that you haven't visited i keep getting that it's i haven't visited this place in so long i haven't visited it so you're visiting it to put something to bed put something to rest but you're also creating something new here in your visit you're creating something new you're creating a new energy you are um, setting free an energy so it's almost like you have now new acknowledgement of new things things that you didn't see before right you're not looking at this energy what you're looking at is the very thing that you put to bed you're looking at the very thing that you put to rest you are looking at the very things that you are letting go right and that is what you are setting up here in your inner in the altar within the very things that you are not seeing are the things that have been hidden from you the things that have not been seen the things that have been tricky to solve um so it's almost like that is what you are awakening this is the energy that i feel like is coming out of your subconscious mind right with the moon we talk about subconscious um and look at this energy here right with pasha mama it's coming from behind so that's the subconscious mind um, filling up your mental and uh, astral space giving rise to this energy so i am feeling the sun's energy um, i'm not seeing it in the cards just yet it may may not come out but i'm seeing the sun here even though we have the moon it just feels like this energy is coming out of the shadows right coming out of your inner altar coming out of the altar within let's see let's see i just feel like you are resolving something tricky you are making more sense of things you're getting much more clarity because you are putting something to bed because you have more room you have more room all of this energy all of this energy that you see that's here that's behind is going to come into the forefront all of it all of it will come through to the forefront your subconscious mind is trying to show you this that is what your subconscious mind is trying to show you the coyote is also a guide okay um is something that i'm getting here coyote is also a guide it's interesting because i'm staring at this coyote and it's per it perfectly actually came out with the moon um because i'm seeing the coyote at night right yeah ace of swords 
some kind of clarity coming to pass. Look at the crocodile, right? The sneaky energy. See, something is sneaking up, sneaking up on you, right? We talked about this coming up from your subconscious mind. It's like this sneaky energy, this energy that you didn't see before, something that is tricky, something that you have been trying to resolve here with the Ace of Swords. I am seeing that you are getting that clarity. You're coming to this truth on your own. Okay, you're coming to this truth on your own. And once you come to this truth on your own, it's just much more satisfying than someone else telling you about it. Someone else, right? You just feel much more satisfied. But this coyote is a guide, and I'm not exactly sure in which capacity just yet, but let's get all your cards out and see what's going on. Three of portal, three of portals. I was literally about to say three of portals because when I, whenever I see this card, I see a portal. Um, the ace of wands, and you have here the wolf. Interesting. You have wolf and coyote. Wow. Okay. Eight of wands. Okay. Uh, six of swords. Six of cups. Justice. Libra energy. Two of swords. The bee which I love, which does remind me of the sun, all that beautiful light solar energy. Um, you have here the chariot, you have here the queen of swords and the daughter of cups. It's interesting because I'm viewing this daughter of cups as something that is, like I don't know where this fits. I don't know where this fits. It's kind of like an odd energy. It's an odd energy out, right? Which is the emotions. There's something about your emotions that has been odd. Something just feels odd or it's been off, but you're getting clarity over your emotions. You're get, getting clarity over the past. And I think that's why exactly, you know, why it's being put to bed. It's being, you're putting something to rest here. And I, they keep positioning it to me like that. It's almost like you're, not per se grieving, but you know, when we do shed our old self, we do go through a grieving process. But it's interesting because here I'm feeling like this odd energy that something that just didn't fit, something that didn't um, necessarily go. Maybe it's just this energy of like, it's not growing with you, but it has helped you in your evolution, but it's just not growing with you anymore. So it's like just time to put it to bed. Look at this. Look at the swords here. They're sitting at the bottom, right? We talked about the lower world. It's sitting here at the bottom at the very depth. This is where these swords are resting, right? This is the resting place of these swords. And here with the six of cups, you can see the roots of the tree in the lower world. The roots of the tree are underground. That's where the roots of the tree are, right? So that's where they lay rest. That's where they are. They're beneath. That's where you laid this energy to bed. That's where you laid it to rest. It's almost like there is an energy of I I feel you feel peaceful about something now. Because when when you think of like now I'm thinking of someone when they pass, when you put them to rest. Um it's, a lot of people say, oh, they're at peace now. So I'm getting this energy of like, you're at peace with something. You're at peace with something now from your past that you weren't necessarily at peace with in the past before. But now you're feeling at peace with it. Now you have this new sense of emotionality that goes with the memory and that's exactly what this bridge is you're bridging the memory and you're bridging the emotionality you're connecting these two things together okay that's what i'm getting here i totally forgot what i just said i wanted to repeat it so that i could understand it <gasps> anyways but i already said it so i'm just gonna move on <laughs> I'm just like, what did I just say? Um, okay. I just see you moving on. Eight of eight of eight of 
Eight of Wands. I think I just said 888. I had like a little stutter there. Feeling at peace with this energy, right? Feeling at peace with something, feeling at peace ignites this energy here, okay? That's what like fuels this energy to come to light. That's what fuels this energy to come into your awareness. That's what fuels this energy to come into the light for you to see. And I feel like perhaps this is the energy that you get this clarity on, okay? You get that peaceful essence within your soul. You feel at peace with it. It's like I've been trying for so long to resolve this, to, um, it's almost like you wanted to give this energy a home. They're, they keep bringing the, the message back to the, the altar within. You want to bring an energy home. It's like you don't know where something fits you, or you didn't know where something went. And so like that's where you, it's like finally you put that energy to rest. You put it in the altar. You put it to home. You put it to rest and you found peace with it. You found peace with it. And it get, it's giving you this clarity over this energy that has been tricky, that has been hard to resolve, that really played with your emotions. It's like you were guided through all of the cycles of your emotions, but you were maybe going in circular emotions instead of finding fluidity and flow in your emotions to guide you out. But now you feel like you are guided out. You are guided out because you put something to rest. You found an energy, a home. You found an energy you found the home for the energy, if that makes sense, okay? And so I feel like that is what's going to create this shift and movement for you, right? This great big awakening, this um, revelation, this epiphany, this clarity, this new energy to come up within you that is extremely fruitful. Where there was uncertainty, there is certainty. And that's kind of how I'm seeing it. It's like the bee is utilizing this two of swords as its resource. Um, which is also something interesting now. It's like you're using the uncertainty as a resource. Where there is uncertainty, there is a resolution. And I'm seeing that you are finding... They're saying if you are in this space of uncertainty, not knowing how to put this energy to bed, not knowing where this energy goes, look within, remember, create your inner altar. What does your inner altar look like? Put that energy there. Visualize yourself. Put this energy in, in on this altar that is within you. That is where you will find a sweet result and create the shift in this movement, right? With the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. So that you can move forward. So that you can learn this very important lesson here with justice. It's almost like, because I'm seeing these two cats and they're just kind of like turning around and just looking at me. And I feel like it's almost like these cats just turned and faced and looked at you like finally <laughs> finally you got that clarity finally you got that independence finally you stepped into your power finally you spoke out finally you created demands or said no or created a boundary because lately lately i've been seeing the queen of swords as drawing a boundary drawing a boundary line with the sword right I always see this Queen of Swords as drawing a boundary line. This is my boundary. You can't cross it. It's almost like spirit, this energy or this guide was waiting for you or you were waiting for you to draw that line in the sand. And then the cats kind of turned and they looked at you and oh, it's almost like an acknowledgement like, okay, you learned your lesson. You learned a lesson here. You're learning a really big lesson, okay? And that is what's creating this movement and shift, okay? I'm also seeing a lot of heightened intuition. 
um, heightened intuitive gifts, heightened intuitive power, because you're making room, you're making room in your subconscious mind for this new energy, and you're expanding your consciousness, you're expanding your awareness of the things unknown, of the things unseen, of the things the moon that are dark okay now we talked about that let's get into this energy here usually the bottom of the deck for me is in the near future energies so what i'm seeing here is i'm actually seeing a portal with the three of wands right and the three of wands is usually foresight seeing into the future um there's something here that you're creating that's coming out um of the future and into your now moment okay does that make sense so you're creating something here it's coming out of this portal it's coming it's actually coming from the future okay because you're calling it in where where do you call in your manifestations from where do you call your creations from you're calling in a creation you're calling in a creation and I feel like here you're the wolf and you're kind of sitting here and you're looking at the portal you're calling something in from the future for you to experience it in your now moment. This does not feel like a guide. This feels like a guide. The coyote. This feels like you looking at this portal. This coyote, this wolf, excuse me, feels like anticipation. A lot of anticipation. Okay, um, I want to say like don't get stuck in ant anticipation. I, I don't know why I wanted to say that. Maybe it's for someone out there. Like don't get stuck in anticipation. But it's that anticipation energy. Yeah, nine of cups. Nine of cups. Yeah, there's something that you wish. There's something that you want. You're going to be really pleased with it. Dragonfly, transcendence, also metamorphosis and change. See, snake. Okay, we talked about shedding, right? Yeah, you're calling something here and from the future. I'm also this seeing this energy kind of lift up. Something is being uplifted. Okay, when we talked about when this dragonfly came out, it's, it's about transcendence, um, transcending, um, evolving, um, also transfiguration, moving from one state to another. That's why the chariot and the eight of wands is here. That's interesting. That's interesting, the chariot. The chariot is actually delivering a lot of energies. Delivery, okay, the chariot, delivery. So because of the eight of wands here, there's a lot of movement here happening. Energetically, cosmically, physically, emotionally, mentally, and also shifting in your reality, like a par like paradigm shifts. Um, the chariot is doing two things. Moving things from your subconscious mind forward to your consciousness, okay? Moving this energy, so this energy is moving, 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 okay? To your consciousness, okay? And that's why we have the Ace of Swords here, right? That clarity. So it's delivering this energy forward, delivering it forward. The other thing this chariot is doing is delivering the very thing that you are creating from the future. So this chariot is interdimensional and it's actually coming from the future through the portal and into your reality, delivering something into your reality. And I feel like you're sitting here waiting for it. You know what I'm seeing? Um, I'm kind of seeing, I'm, they're actually showing me a dog. Um, like waiting, waiting by the window, waiting by the door um, for the homeowner to come home, right? Or they look at the door and they see the delivery man, you know, coming out of the truck with the delivery in hand, with the package in hand, is something that I'm seeing. I definitely want to say keep your vibration high is very key at this time. Keep your vibration high, okay? Remember, if you are in uncertainty, it's trying to show you something, okay? 
keep your vibration high, um, very key. I'm seeing this as an earth portal because of the wands, something tangible. Something that's physically moving. I keep seeing it. It's something that is physically moving. It's moving. It's in transit. Okay, it's in transit. All right. Okay, thanks, Spirit. It's, so whatever it is that you are creating here that's coming from the future is going to be delivered in the next moon cycle. The next, um, some of you, it's the next full moon. Some of you, it's um, your next cycle. If you don't know when your next cycle is, I can't tell that for you. Spirit can't even tell that for you. You need to tell that, you need to go within and know your cycles, know your cycles. We all have an inner timer. We all have our own cycles, okay? Visit your inner altar, create it, look at it visit it, visualize it. What does it look like? I feel like your inner altar is going to be a, um, an indicator of your cycle. For some, for some of you, I feel like that's going to be a really big key indicator. How do I know what my cycles are? Your inner altar, the altar within is an indicator. It can show you it can show you all of the energies that are housed there, all of the old energies that you have shed and that are placed there. Visualize it, okay? It will help you understand your cycles, okay? It's interesting that's coming up because that's something that I have recently recognized within myself, trying to understand my inner cycles, the timing of them, okay? So whatever it is that you're creating that's coming from the future, that's in transit, you're, it's going to be received, it's going to be um, fruitful, I don't want to use the word manifest, it's going to be blossomed or bloomed in your reality, it's gonna come into fruition. It's gonna to come to pass. I like that. It's gonna to come to pass in your next cycle. Okay, in your next cycle. Yes, because this is number 37, which is 10, completion. And then here you have the snake, which is completion, right? Snake touching its tail, eating its tail. Okay, so completion of an old cycle, start of a new one. Okay, this is what I have, the altar within, okay? Um, I'm gonna get into your love reading, okay? So let's flow, let's continue the flow. Thank you, spirit. All right. So this is the, um, I always forget the names of my decks, because I don't always keep the boxes. They're too clunky. Um, I think this is the Wisdom Oracle. All right, let's look at your love life. You have here Yang at the bottom, which is number one. You have here Orphaned, number five. Okay. Shuffle and get a few more. For Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Interesting. You do have here Yin. So you do have your Yin and Yang. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, this is all about receptivity, and this is about taking action. I always like look at these cards about um, someone taking action, this energy coming towards you, and this, um, whoever is in the 
yin energy is getting ready to, to receive, okay? These energies can flip, okay? So what I mean by that is energies are interchangeable. This could be you or this could be you, okay? Take it as it resonates. Use your discernment. Use your intuition, okay? I'm seeing this energy as someone giving and someone receiving, okay? But again, this energy flips the yin and yang, okay? Um, you have your deep doing and you have your community, okay? And the orphan card. All right. So I'm getting a multitude of messages. I'm just going to go with the flow um, and we'll, we'll pick up on a storyline and different messages, okay? I'm feeling here that someone had a very hard upbringing, okay? I'm seeing foster homes to foster homes to foster homes. I'm seeing um, adoption. Uh, either you were adopted or the person that you are connected to is adopted. Um, I'm seeing a very loving adoptive family, but there's something here. There's a deep knowing. Someone knows or someone is seeking, someone is searching for their adoptive, um, excuse me, for their, um, for their real parents, biological parents. Sorry, let me use that word. I don't want to use real parents. Um, let me use the word biological parents, okay? My apologies. Um, okay, so if that does not resonate with you, that's okay. That's just a message out there that I needed to relay. As it pertains to a relationship, okay? Um, again, that could be you or the person that you are connected to regarding... Um, adoption and, and foster homes. I'm seeing that in a relationship, okay, someone has a pattern of constantly feeling abandoned. This could be you, this could be the one that you're connected to, okay? Someone here feels that they are always, always the giver, okay? I'm seeing this game card actually in the reverse. It's, I'm feeling the energy as if it's in the reverse. Someone has a hard time receiving because they're always giving, always seeking that home, always seeking that love, always seeking that person that feels like home, um, seeking that friendship, that family, that coming together, that community that feels like home. Um, There's a lot of abandonment issues from the past, from, yeah, five of five of, sorry, I don't know why I'm stuttering in your energy lately. Like I wanted to say five again. And here you have five, five actually talking about abandonment. And here you have the five of pentacles, um, aban like abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, right? That's that energy. I'm getting this energy of someone walked away from you, okay, in this relationship. I'm also getting this is a repetitive patterning for majority of you out there that have dealt with a family member, parents, this could even go all the way back to past life for some of you, which is why there is this deep knowing card. Some of you know that this is a pattern of yours. Some of you are aware of it. Again, this could be interchangeable. This could be the person um, that you're connected to that is in this energy, okay? So again, use your discernment. This is a pattern, okay? So some of you have experienced a parent not around, a brother, a sister, an uncle, an aunt, a grandmother, however that may resonate with you. It's this feeling of abandonment, okay? This is a pattern, okay? And you have experienced this pattern with the person here that's coming out in your reading, okay? The person that you are connecting to, the person that's on your mind, the person that you are watching for, you are feeling abandoned by this person, okay? You can see their feet walking away. It's 
it's interesting because I'm seeing these skulls. Some of them are green. Actually, only five of them are green. The rest are not. This is telling me that someone left their heart behind. I don't know what that means just yet. Someone left their heart behind. They know this too with the deep knowing card. Yeah. Nine of wands with the world and the tower. Okay, so some of you had a really big shakeup a breakup if this hasn't happened yet it is happening or it will happen depending on your timeline I am feeling as if majority of you have already gone through this tower moment this breakup because I'm seeing here the world something has um, completed it reached a point there was a point that has been reached because someone here has been fighting to keep it together to keep the connection together. Someone stayed, someone fought, right? You see here with the Knight of Wands, someone is cutting these wands down, someone is trying to break the barrier, someone is trying to let someone in, someone is trying to give, 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 the other person isn't receiving, vice versa, and someone here is fighting, okay? And someone here walked away. So someone here didn't put up a fight, okay, is what I'm getting here. Someone didn't put up an equal fight. Someone didn't put the equal energy to this connection the way you did, okay? And that is why you have here the world and the tower. It has ended or it is coming to an end. Beautiful. I love seeing the chariot here. You have here the nine of swords that's okay that's listen i'm i just heard like um i heard someone saying why why me why me okay please recognize the patterning okay very important to recognize the patterning of relationships okay i feel like for some of you this is not your first time going experiencing something like this with someone romantic, even with someone non-romantic, okay? Even if you let friends get close to you, this is what you experience. You are always the one giving to the friendship or giving to the family or giving to the connection, romantic or not, and it not turning out the way that you want it to. You have to recognize those abandonment issues, clear them, heal them, release them, okay? Um, and I'm, I keep hearing with this um, nine of swords, I just keep hearing why 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 there are answers in the book that you're holding again this is within you and in your spiritual growth we talked about putting something to bed laying it to rest putting something down putting that energy finding a home for it finding a home and putting it on your in on the altar the altar within you okay and letting it rest there okay um so i feel like there are answers there for you but your mind is so cluttered that you're not seeing something clear clearly right now um be careful of this energy because i'm seeing here someone trying to um write to someone i'm seeing someone here try to find the words i feel like this may be your energy um not necessarily that theirs let's get more before i continue but um what, I, what my intuition is saying is be careful sending a text message, be careful sending an email, be careful saying something that you are going back and forth in your mind about overthinking, over worrying, because I feel like here someone really wants to reach out to someone and you know that you may not necessarily get the response that you want to hear or even something that you need. You may not even get any response that you need. Okay. Let's get let's continue on. You do have here justice. You do have here the two of cups, but the two of cups is under the tower. Okay, so this is just confirmation from spirit that this relationship is coming to a close. Okay. If the two of cups came up with a different card. I would say otherwise. Justice, Libra, what did we talk about earlier, right? Lessons. Justice is underneath the world, okay? Lessons coming to a close, learning about a pattern. If this lesson is not closed, the chariot is going to 
and deliver you right back to the beginning of this lesson for you to learn it, to relearn it again, until you pull out each of these swords, open the book to where this um, bookmark is at and pick up where you left off. Some of you are stuck on a page. You're stuck on a pattern, okay? I'm sorry that this may not be what you wanna hear right now, but this is a message that the majority of this group needs to hear because there is new love for you. You have a deep knowing of this, okay? Okay, something popped up and popped back in, which is the Eight of Swords. I'm not gonna take it, just acknowledging it. Okay, which is mental entrapment. There's the Four of Cups, and there's the Page of Pentacles, okay? Let's look at in the near future energies. You have here the King of Cups, love it. Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords with the Eight of Wands and the Lovers and Temperance and Nine of Cups. Okay, I get a spirit. There is new love coming towards you, okay? But not right now. I'm just being honest. You do have here the King of Wands and the Four of Cups, okay? All right. Be careful of being gaslighted, okay? Because I'm seeing that here with the Four of Cups, um, with the King of Wands, okay? This King of Wands is someone that you are in a relationship with or someone that you are connected to that is ended or that has ended, okay? That is ending or has ended, if I said that correctly. Um, I'm seeing here with the Four of Cups and the Page of Swords, um... I, like I'm seeing this person like really kind of big okay I'm seeing this person kind of tall um big in nature it doesn't have to be their physicality it could just be the their energy the way it's coming across to me and someone here very down someone kind of um their energy your vibration is not where you like it to be where you want it to be so I'm actually seeing someone here kind of ov overpowering or very dominant and with you with the connection um so be uh, this is what what i want to say be careful of being gas lit okay because someone here you're kind of like questioning what you want to write what you want to say some of you you have been communicating with this person but they made you question your sanity they made you question your beliefs your faiths they made you question what you did what you didn't do it's almost like they turned it around on you so it's almost like they were not validating your emotions in this connection they were not um very communicative in this connection okay is something that i'm seeing here with the four of cups page of swords and this king of wands okay i'm kind of seeing this king of wands very like demanding and they're actually pointing the finger as you can see they're pointing the finger like this Okay, so they're pointing the finger, right? But as they point the finger at you, what is there? There's three, technically, three pointing back at them, right? So I'm also seeing that this person does not like to take responsibility the way this card is coming out to me. Okay, so they're kind of putting it back on you. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I hate when people point their finger at me. <laughs> oh my God, I do not like that. Sorry oh my right please be careful of that you do not deserve that so you have a deep knowing of this okay maybe that has also been a pattern for you guys okay recognize your pattern some of you might have been a, a, some of you this was a pattern okay that you experienced in your friendship family even going all the way back to past life okay now, let's talk about in the near future energies, okay? Because I do like this. There is new love here for you. Given that you have learned this lesson, released it, cleansed it, put it to bed, put it to rest, raise your vibration, and started to what? Give to yourself. Put that money, put that coin in your pocket, right? Put that energy, put that vibration into you. 
I'm seeing this energy as you making investments in yourself. For what? For growth, for vitality, right? So I'm seeing a lot of um, energies being reinvested. It's almost like you're reinvesting into yourself, okay? So I really do like that. I really, really like that. I'm seeing that you will be in a long-term relationship, okay? I am seeing that. But again, remember, right? Remember, okay? I'm actually seeing someone here pull the swords out of your back. Sometimes I see this as someone stabbing you in the back. But this, because I'm reading as, um, you have here the lovers, the ten of pentacles, and the king of cups, the eight of wands, you have here temperance, you have here nine of cups. I'm seeing here that you are getting what you want. I'm seeing here that you're getting what you wish for, okay? It's going to take some time. It's going to take some inner alchemy. It's going to take some divine alchemy. It's going to take some... Um, co-creation co-alchemy with spirit here is what i'm seeing here with temperance um right spirit helps those who help themselves heaven helps those who help themselves that is what temperance is doing helping you because you are helping yourself and what are they going to do what are they going to do when you help yourself right when you reinvest into yourself what are they going to do they're going to send you someone to help take the sword out of your back okay is what i'm seeing here so i'm seeing you right and this is you when you learn how to receive right instead of giving constantly to the point where you were depleted right so i'm here right we talked about um how you're reinvesting into yourself right receiving so you're learning how to receive one of the best ways to learn how to receive is to actually do things for you little things right get a pedicure get a facial work out eat better I don't know, just receive good energy, receive love, receive compliments, re give yourself comp compliments and receive them. Little things of self-love, right? Um, so I'm seeing that. And when you do that, help yourself. The divine will send help to you, right? So I'm seeing someone here. This person that you meet is going to help you take this sword out of your back. This is an energy for me of building trust building trust not necessarily helping you heal okay no not fixing you no you heal yourself you do what you got to do for you right that self-love right reinvesting into you i'm seeing this energy as this person taking the swords out of your back as an energy of learning how to trust one another like i won't do this to you and you learning from their actions and their communication and their feelings that you build trust with this person that you are not going to repeat the patterns of the past. When you meet this person, there's a deep knowing of who they are. They also have a deep knowing about you, okay? You meet this person in the perfect time, right? And you know what's so crazy is that in the spiritual growth message, we talked about this portal that something is coming to you from the future. Right? And look at this boat, right? Three of Wands was the card, but it was in the um, Wild Unknown Tarot. It looks like a, 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 an, a portal, right? But in the traditional tarot, it's someone looking out, waiting for their ships to come in. Sometimes in some tarot, there are ships depicted coming in to dock. And look at the ship with the Nine of Cups. And we did also have the Nine of Cups in your spiritual growth. Something is coming in. They're coming in from the future for you to experience here in the present moment, right? That's what creations are. That is what temperance here is doing. That's what the divine is doing, okay? You're going to receive this person. They're coming from the future, in a sense, right? Anyways, it's coming to you, okay? Here with the Nine of Cups. It's being delivered. And that is, again, it goes back to you receiving. When something is delivered to you, what do you do when the package arrives at your door you open the door and you receive the package that's exactly what's here you're getting ready to receive what it is that you are aligning yourself to okay it could be a gemini it doesn't have to be i'm seeing here with the lover see this key is descending is descending it hasn't descended yet and unlocked the keys to this relationship it hasn't descended yet but it is descending okay so again it is on its way okay um ten of pentacles 
Okay, beautiful. That's a long-term relationship, long-term commitment. Eight of Wands, shifts, movement, and the King of Cups. This person is extremely um, communicative with their emotions is something that I'm seeing. And I'm, I'm kind of getting this energy that this is something that you haven't experienced before. Okay, so you are experiencing new things in a relationship, things that you have not experienced before. And this is something that you are also getting ready to receive, to experience, right? So I'm seeing this person as very communicative with their emotions. This person could travel to you or this person is currently traveling and that's why you haven't met yet. Some of you, you're gonna meet online, okay? And then there's like plans to meet and travel, okay? This could also be your energy where you are the one traveling, okay? Take it as it applies. Um, I'm also kind of seeing this energy as like someone didn't see something coming because I'm seeing this energy come behind this person. So it definitely takes like this shift, this relationship, you, them, definitely is by chance, right? By chance, so to speak. It's definitely um, takes this person by surprise. It's almost like this energy of, I didn't know I would meet someone like you. I didn't know someone like this could exist for me. But they're out there. They're out there, trust me. I've been in that position before. Where you literally think that there's no one out there for you. This orphaned energy. You, you're, you constantly feel abandoned. You feel like there's no one out there for you. There is someone out there for you. Okay? I'm seeing a lot of loyalty in this connection. I'm seeing a lot of building energy, building trust, building a solid foundation. It's literally building from the ground up. Okay? That is what I'm seeing here. And I'm going to go back to that spiritual growth message and say that timing is all dependent on you on this lesson, okay? Because as you close the world, something out, you start a new cycle. So it's a very key at this time to understand when your cycles are. What are the timing of your cycles? Where are you on your cycle? Did you just close the cycle out? Do you need to close the cycle out, right? So ask yourself these questions. These are all questions that help you understand readings and understand, okay, I need to close this out. What else do I need to close out? What else do I need to get rid of? What are my patterns? Why do I need to learn this lesson? What do I keep repeating, okay? Because for this group, there's a repetitive pattern here that needs to be shed, okay? Or else you're gonna repeat. You're gonna repeat, okay? All right, Scorpio, this was your reading. I love you guys so very much. Again, happy birthday. Until next time.